there is tremendous pressure on data capacity. Operators, as well as in the Wi-Fi community, people are always looking uh, for ways in which they can offer more data rate, better service to the end user. One of the things that we actually think about in 5G NR is it's supposed to handle all sorts of spectrum types, ranging from below one gigahertz all the way up to you know, 28 gigahertz, 37 gigahertz, and so on. And as a part of that, we've been building up our own prototype testbed, prototype base stations and devices which showcase what can be done with 5G. Strictly speaking, millimeter wave would be anything that's below one centimeter of wavelength. So anything about 20 gigahertz is loosely called millimeter wave. It's not the first time that we're trying to use those for wireless communications. In fact, we actually have been using it for a long time for fixed wireless backhaul service. Millimeter wave does not like obstacles in its way because the waves attenuate much more rapidly compared to the lower frequencies. Beamforming is all about setting the right amplitude and phase for each of these elements so that collectively they steer the beam in, in a certain direction. This has to be done dynamically. You can think of it as a, a spotlight on a stage where a performer is on stage, he's moving around and the spotlight kind of follows him. In our test bed, which we have in New Jersey, We've been testing all these concepts, going from a whiteboard to, uh, to making them work in practice. In fact, one of the demos that we showed in Mobile World Congress in Barcelona was a mobile millimeter wave system, wherein we had users in a minivan driving around, switching between one access point to the other. Inside our own office premises, we have millimeter wave base stations which are located just like Wi-Fi access points if you think of it, and users walking around in a conference room and so on, and still getting pretty high data rates with it. It's a very exciting time, seeing it from uh, its birth to you know, our, our prototype and being able to demo that prototype. Working with both operators and infrastructure vendors to showcase this in the field uh, in the subsequent uh, few quarters. We still have work to do in that, but these are very promising techniques and we think that these will be the main ingredients of what will constitute the 5G NR millimeter wave system.